Hello, welcome everyone in the new year 2023. And um, at the moment you can see that photo. Uh, and from the title of that video, you know, it will be about Key 84 Hayate, uh, which can be translated like a storm or something, tempest, somehow like this. One of the best uh, Japanese army fighters from the Second World War. It was introduced to replace Order Key 43 Hayabusa, famous fighter, and uh, it was in 1944. And now we make an inbox of Key 84 Hayate from Arma Hobby. It's an expert set, as you can see, and um, Arma uh, thought that it will be the end of the expert set, uh, model set. Uh, I don't know uh, how they uh, resolve uh, that thing. Uh, probably there will be one standard of everything and models will be in um, different sets of set <laughs> uh, with additional uh, parts or so. I don't know uh, how uh, they will uh, do this, uh, what it will be exactly instead of expert and model sets. But now we can see Hayate, still as expert set. And uh, as you can see, it's typical uh, box with um, box art from Japan, but box is typical for Arma Hobby. And now let's check what is inside. And here is also like um, in almost every um, kit of Arma Hobby. Instruction, two frames, um, three frames including queer parts. And now some decals inside of the instructions and um, one instruction. And that is pretty much all uh, inside, so let's check the instruction first. Uh, there is um, a text about the fighter in two languages, in Polish and in English, so you can read it. Uh, even by stopping that video now, if you want, um, and uh, some additional information about the kit, uh, drawings of uh, all frames, footage frame, and so on. Uh, they forgot to mention that second small frame, I don't know why, but happily it's inside the box. And now, uh, steps of the instructions. Personally, I think it's um, mm, the most clear uh, instruction from Arma. Uh, maybe it's a result of the complication of that kit. It is probably simplest uh, from that group like Mustang, for example. Uh, or previous kits and for me it's okay everything should be good PE parts for engine And for uh, the, some parts uh, underside of the plane for the cooling unit.
interesting way to assemble the bombs with that additional piece of plastic. And now markings. There are six paint schemes inside the box. And now, first frame. The quality is very nice and very good, as is typical for my hobby. Uh, there are no sync marks, almost no. Uh, everything it looks like it should like. Uh, there are no too many um, parts, engine cooling, propeller, uh, upper part of the fuselage um, in two uh, variants, only as a result of that small hole, probably that is the only one uh, difference between them. Engine. Cockpit interior pirate seat. And so on and so on. Halves of fuselage are also very nice. Uh, panel lines are very crisp, very clear, uh, without damage. So, everything looks very promising. Rear parts, hmm, what I can say about them? They are really clear and looks very, very nice. The cars are also okay. There are no issues with them, mm, only that white stripe around the Hinomarus 
looks a bit wired for me. Maybe it's a bit not that normal, I mean. It's not exactly in the center of that white. But it's not a big issue. Everything should be fine on the model, I hope so. It's tech mod, so the quality should be very good. But remember, if you have older uh, tech mod decals, from example, um, from about 10 years ago or so, uh, remember to be extremely careful working with them because these older um, decals are extremely thin and uh, it's better to make them safe with gloss lacquer gloss varnish before putting them to the water. And last but not least, masks and uh, PE parts. Masks are from Kabuki tape, which means um, they should be should be very good. And PE parts, <laughs> like PE parts, are also very nice. And I think also there will be no troubles with them. So, masks. And PE parts. And that's all with that kit. It is how it looks like. So, looks very good, is very promising as I mentioned before. And I hope the build will be also okay. So, here are some paints uh, which I prepared for that uh, build. Uh, I carry of course Ueno uh, Black as a primer for uh, metallizers. And uh, MRP, a paint for underside. Uh, it will be kind of a test. And Fun Fundert und Zwei Abteilung Sepia oil paint for wash. I'm very interested in how it will be a work. And okay, thank you for watching, thank you for all likes, all subscriptions and for all comments, and I hope to see you next time. Happy New Year 2023 once again, and bye for now.